Missing Children is a horror game about a bully female detective, Sato. She and a policeman are investigating the missing of three girls, Mizuki, Akiko and Kani. All three are junior high school students and seem to be very close. The police are suspecting that it's not a case of kidnapping. The policeman is Funahashi, who is gonna help Sato during the investigation. This guy is very handsome, manly and always has a smile on lips. According to the missing girl's friend that, he saw one of the girls chatting via an online chat. And that girl is Mizuki. With that, all both are gonna go to Mizuki's house. After ringing the doorbell, Mizuki's mom came out, and not to let them into the house. She looks annoyed and gruff, probably because her daughter went missing. In addition, the family has a dog in the back of the house. Use Mizuki's charm, she lets Sato in. Mizuki is living with mom because the rooms only have the names of two of them. She has a boyfriend, but her mom wrote a letter asking the boy to sever the relationship with Mizuki. Perhaps due to being a single mom, the burden of family and lack of sex life made her extremely uncomfortable. Looking at her pose in a dress like that, maybe this is a flirtatious woman. Notice that in Mizuki's room, Sato found a radio, emitting a woman's cry and noise sounds. Outside, there's the neighbor kid is wearing a mask. He says that his family can't live without masks and begs Sato to bring him more. Those are about Mizuki's life. Next we're gonna go to Akiko's house. This is the deserted wilderness. There's also a shrine up there for people to offer something to ask for blessings. On the dark road, the protagonist found an article, written about a death of a middle schooler in town. The boy is Takumi with numerous wounds on his body. His single mom have been suspected by police. In front of the country house, Sato knocks on the door but no one's answering. Behind the house. There's a granny probably doing field work. She's an incredible health when pulling the soil with her feet. After a while talking, the granny lets Sato to look her house, as much as she'd like. Inside, we find this house filled with trash bags, and countless glasses of instant noodles on the table. Maybe it's been a while, no one's cleaned them. In the kitchen, there's a call from a phone. Someone's singing without answering. In Akiko's room, Sato found another radio making chaotic sounds accompanied by screams. On the floor, she found a bag of Akiko. There are terrible graffiti on it, perhaps the girl could be bullied by classmates at school. Looking for a moment, a little girl appeared on the stairs. She didn't reveal anything about her parents. Perhaps they've abandoned two sisters and the grandma, or maybe they're dead for a long time. Later. The little girl revealed that they didn't have the grandma, so no one's cleaned the house, and the food is over that she must eat dog food. The granny is just a ghost walking around the soil look like a grave. Two poor sisters are living extremely miserable, no parents. Akiko is also bullied by classmates at school. Those are about Akiko's life. Next we're gonna go to Kenny's house. Inside, the alcoholic man is Kenny's father. On the table again, we found another radio, which is uttering someone's whisper, sometimes screams. Next to it's an article about Takami, the boy committed suicide while his single mom's been working hard. Follow Kenny's diary, she's been in the unhappy family. The husband belittled the food his wife cooked, and complained when she bought a new bag. Parents were yelling at each other and fought for small reasons making her tired. They got married just because of Kenny. Living without love, she doesn't wanna hear their voices anymore. We might find this man terrible, and he's even no face in this house. Summarizing all the clues in three families, via the online chat, three girls made an appointment in the park. They're depressed because of lacking of love, Akiko sisters live in poor because of no relatives. 
Ms. Yuki lives with a grumpy single mother. Kani has an unhappy family and thought that she shouldn't exist in this world. Finally, Sato and the policeman go to the park. We'll have two endings in the game, depend on helping someone to get three toys or not. The bad ending happens if the players don't offer enough three toys. The protagonist runs to search the girls in the park. Suddenly, a shadow appeared behind. On the bridge to the middle of the lake, Sato must encounter the shadow to continue. However, she can't save the girls. They jumped into the lake. Suddenly behind the black guy pushes her into the lake. Luckily, the police arrived well timed and saved her. With this ending, all three girls are dead. The protagonist also couldn't save her son. It's the death of Takumi Sato, written in two articles we found during the game. Takumi committed suicide because of being bullied at school many times. The additional reason is Sato is too mindful of work, and doesn't care of him. The son died with many injuries caused by violence on the body. Sato had many regrets since three girls and her son died. The good ending happens if the players offer enough three toys. Sound like the protagonist must help three people to get three toys during the investigation. Sato runs to search the girls in the park, without the shadow screaming behind. On the bridge, all girls are saved by the black guy sitting next to them. Like bad ending, Sato couldn't save her son, Takumi. Sato had many regrets since her son died, however from here on, she'll live as if he's living inside her. Is the game just simple and ensier? There's another hiding meaning that we couldn't imagine. Three girls' situations showed that, they're depressed because of lacking of love. Akiko sisters live in poor because of no relatives. Mizuki lives with a grumpy single mom. Kani has thought that she shouldn't exist in this world. Did you see Takumi's situation, son of Sato, is very similar to Mizuki and Akiko. Game doesn't mention about Sato's husband, maybe she is single mom who only cares about work. At school the boy suffered violence with many physical injuries. Lacking of mom's love, he committed suicide because of being extreme depressed for a long time. If adding to Kani's situation, Sato was pregnant before getting married. One more detail, the police car is reversed. Because Japanese rides on the left side, the driver would get into a car by the right door. That's not game errors. The protagonist just imagined everything. The death of the son makes Sato suffer and torment. The pains groan through screams and cries and tears. The black ghost represents Sato's pain. She couldn't escape her torment and decided to find a death to rescue. Sato committed suicide but to be saved in time by Funahashi. Although living, Sato imagined the details in the game we saw. Like an overturned police car, other characters, three missing girls have similar situations like her son, and her heartbroken sounds on the radios. The detail of helping others to get three toys to save her son is also a unreal dream. But too late, even with more offer. The boy still died. That's the good ending we've seen. Sato maybe thinks about committing suicide again. The ghost of crime has always haunted her. That's the bad ending we've seen. This game contains the meaning of life hidden in a simple boring storyline. Only family love and stay with us forever. People should love more and don't live under fake masks as meet each other. Helping somebody will also make our soul relax. Anyway, we should smile like Funahashi though in the most extreme situation.
The story explain video stops here. Thank you for your interest. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.